I'm curious about the the whole um, journey to become an NCAA champion. You know, NCAA NCAA's is obviously super competitive. You know, you competed in the SEC, which was a, a super competitive conference, and even at South Carolina, practice was very competitive. So I'm sure all of that contributed to you, you know, getting to the point where you would be NCAA champion. But I'm just, you know, for those who who haven't experienced that or who are curious as to what it takes to get to that level, you know, just talk a little bit about that journey or that year that you won. And 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 was it an up and down year? Were you just dominant the whole year? Or was you know, were there any obstacles or injuries that you had to kind of get by? Or was it like, yeah. hey, you were locked in and it was guaranteed? I was locked in. Um nice. And it was an exceptional year. It was I was undefeated that year? Um, undefeated. Yeah. Like how many races did you do? You think you ran that year? <sighs> if you could remember, I, I you know. It was Carolina Day, so it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because you know it was I was I was running the four by one, four mm-hmm. by four, four and two. Um, I doubled up until nationals. So I doubled at regionals. I doubled at um, SECs. Um, did I do? Yeah, I doubled at, at regionals because I set the, the 200 record at Florida too. Yeah, so Casually. it set the record, was, but yeah, right. It was a lot of races. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of races, but I will say there were a, a couple of things that I attribute to that year. The sophomore year, um, I had bursitis, and I had I had an injury my freshman year, an injury my sophomore year. But sophomore year, that injury was the one that like really sat me down. Um, I was out for quite a bit of time, six to eight weeks or Hold something. On. Let's go back. Let's go back because I want to hear about those. I want to you to highlight those injuries because I mean you're a, you're a medalist. You have multiple medals, and and folks are going to watch this. Some folks who are experiencing these things, injuries, you know, and or they'll get injured for the first time, and it's like I don't know how to deal with it. So. Right. You ended up getting past that. So you were injured your freshman year. Yeah. And and I, so I pulled my quad in the final of the indoor 400. Oh, wow. And it was literally like I came out of the blocks, took like three or four steps, um, and my quad just went. Wow. Um, so I was out for a while with that. That's disappointing. Um, man. And at it NCAAs, was... At NCAAs, yeah. At NCAAs, um, and let me just say, like, also talking about, so I graduated high school 5204. I went into that final with a PB of 518. So Ooh, like, I was excited. like, yeah, like ready to go, you know? Um, so that happens. We go to outdoor NCs, I play sixth. And then the following year, I don't even remember what, I don't even think I made, um, no, I didn't make, the the indoor um I didn't even make it to nationals because I got bursitis in the fall and you know that fall training yeah it's crucial that fall training like you know you're just kind of trying to get in shape for the rest of the season and so I and then I ended up placing I remember placing six that outdoor nationals that year as well and then my junior year I went into it like okay (laughs) I've come off of two seasons of being injured and things not necessarily happening the way that I planned for them to happen. And I also came into Carolina with the plans of like, I'm studying exercise science. I want to become a chiropractor one day. So I was like, maybe I'll shift my focus to that. Oh, right. Wow. Like okay. I'm, I'm it, for whatever reason, I just can't stay healthy. And I, I had a couple of injuries in high school too. So there was a combination of so a feeling like my back was against the wall in terms of like I've been so injured it's been so bad it can't get any worse but also feeling like (laughs) there's no pressure now because it was like I was you know kind of down there um and then also saying that I'm kind of shifting my, my focus to my studies a little bit more. But then also my junior year was also my introduction to sports psychology and sort of tapping into training my mind as well as wow. training on the track. And it literally, it, it got to a point in the season, I mentioned the season was, it was an undefeated season. By the time we got to outdoors, 
every single race that I ran in the quarter was a PB. 